Yep. Hello. Hi. Hello. All right, sweet. It's Monday. We're trying already? new things. We're trying brand new things. We're leaving it up to you to let us know how it looks. I hope you guys are having I'm trying a, new a really beer. good day. It's brand new beer. Some He's other never time. had that beer before. Not tonight. Yeah, I love these. Never had that these beer are, before. These are the Kevin ones B. Boy, good to see you, my dude. These are the ones I go for. How's everything sound? How's everything look? You let us know what it sounds like. Let us know if you can see anything. Can you hear? Is it hearing? Is the audio working? Are we doing? Can are we rocking? Are we making it happen? Monday, Monday. Yes, I love you. Yes, can looks and sounds. Thank you, Kevin B. Blood. High five, sir. High five. You. Awesome. Well, thanks, you guys, for joining us tonight. It is Monday. Is it Monday? It's Monday Josh. already. Josh. Josh. Right, good to see you, Jen Hogan. Great Hello to see you, Kevin again. B. Blood. Good to see you. Hello, Hello. everybody, and welcome uh, to Monday Night. Michelle Hess. Great to see you. Just kiss, Josh. Oh, yeah, yeah. we missed you, Josh. <laughs> I had him all oh, yeah. weekend. I had him all true. weekend that, to myself, just dirty. inches away. Oh, God. And then, oh, wow. No, oh, I, it was educational. I will say I that it was so. a bonding experience. Most <laughs> certainly a bonding experience. First time that, oh, okay, Kevin said it looks and sounds great. You're saying it's low. Turn your volume up, Jen Holland. I'll give you a high five. How about that? That's all, that's all we can do. Let me hit the button. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah we're, size, we're I, can, I, I, that's I, I can't go anymore. That's what we got. I don't need it. I don't need it. Brie Rivera, great to see you, Miss Brie Brie. Good to see you. Good to see you. Josh Bauer says it hasn't been long enough. <laughs> I well, thought you might you say something know. like that. <laughs> that is true. That's okay. That is true. That it's is true. Right. Is it clear? Does it? Do I sound muffled? Do we sound too far away? Do what do we need to do? You let us know. This is a brand new thing. A brand new all the things that felt like a face palm to me, Billy. No, no, Michelle. It was a high five. Bam, high five. I mean, yeah. That's the way it works. So we had a really crazy week. We're just going to get right into it, man. Last Monday, we had seven days, eight days. Today marks eight days of straight kitchen killer stuff. We had a great wrap-up last Monday. Thank you guys so much for joining. Likes and shares made it happen. We did a little Where Are You Going by Dave Matthews to round that one up. Tuesday, we headed over to Castle Door Studio to test the iRig, which was super cool. So we got to hang out with Zach for a little bit. We got to get everything plugged in and tested and sound, hear what it was going to sound like for Wednesday's show, which was super awesome, man. Kevin and Blood, thank you so much. We I appreciate that. We talked about a lot of off-topic stuff. Oh, man, too. we talked exciting. about a lot of really great stuff, man. Moving forward, different projects, how we're going to work together, how oh, we're going to continue to work together. Dave. Dave Froch from Flame Boss. Good to see you, my dude. So we had a Cheers. really good time last Tuesday at Castle Door Studio. We went back on Wednesday, and Jay Bauer Art joined us for the fourth and final piece of a four-part series uh, that J- Josh has been working with us on over the last month, which was super cool. It was a big buildup. He didn't, build up he didn't get any paint on the wall. Zero paint very, on any he's walls. A very, Matthew very Fiverr, good to see you, my dude. Painter. You Kyle Nunez, is the bad the from Trinidad. That it's is okay. true. That is true. Josh did really tiny. great. Castle Door Studio is still Castle Door Studio with no paint anywhere, which is exactly. great. And I mean, not Josh Bauer paint, uh-huh. other paint, but Josh didn't put it there. So it was super awesome, man. We were really happy uh, to be there last Wednesday. Last happy Wednesday, Monday. not only was a Castle Door Studio show, it was the very first show we tried the iRig, which is direct in audio from the processing board. So we plugged everything in guitars, vocals, we had two room mics, we ran everything. We ran everything into a snake, which then ran into Pro Tools, processed, pushed back out through a send, directly into the iRig, and directly into the phone. So, so all of that, instead of yeah. just this microphone. Right now we have one, phone, one spatial microphone that's right here, up right there, and it picks up everything. But on Wednesday, we did line-in audio, so you guys got a straight sound directly from the board, and from what I understand, it sounded really good. There's some little things we're going to tweak moving forward, because that's oh, what yeah. we do. But Wednesday was awesome because it was an all original show as well as an all that's original poll. Did you guys know that? That's how you get better. Yeah, inches. yeah. Inches, inches, baby. Dennis Cutter, inches. good to see you, my man. The Mad Scientist from Maryland, good to see you, my dude. We miss you. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. So last Wednesday, we had five songs on the poll. We had Elevate, Man Again, Perfect Places, Powered Up, and Was It a Dream. Shot past 100 votes. Thank you guys so much. Coming in in third place uh, was Mannequin with 17 votes. Tying for second place was Powered Up and Perfect Places with 21 votes. And coming in at first place was 25 votes at Was It a Dream, which took all the cake, which was super awesome. So a huge shout out to Zach and Alyssa from Castle Door Studio for having us in there. Uh, Shelly came along. She took some awesome pictures, some awesome video. Uh, the great Commodore and I got everything set up and plugged in and rocking and rolling last Wednesday at Castle Door. We're, I'm really excited to do that again. That was awesome. That was really, really the con- cool. The, conven- the yeah. convention? No, I mean, we're not even there yet. 
Castle Door oh. Studios. Castle Door Studios. Line Studios. in. Yeah, yeah. Line in. We're still oh, on Wednesday yeah. night. Dude. I still can't <laughs> He's get ready over. to go to Friday I right now. I still can't get over how beautiful that, that studio <laughs> yeah. is. I mean, aside, aside from how beautiful it is, because I always say that first, because that's what I think. Uh, the, the sound is great. And, he, dude, he, he does magic. I don't know what he does in that room. He tries to tell me, and he says a bunch of things. Yeah, it's like, awesome. Yeah, I got it. Yep. It's pretty cool. He, uh-huh. This dude's got loads and Keep loads of that. library of plugins that he uses with Pro Tools stu- tool Studios to make sure that he's getting a crisp and clean directly and to like your ears. Years, this baby. one and this one and oh, yeah. this one and like oh yeah and it's awesome man on all it was them. a lot of fun we had a great time on Wednesday with Zach it was really great we even did Flip the Pick we give you a little Elevate which is a Kendrick Killers one of the newest songs that we have out there I think it's the newest song that we have out there we got another yeah, one like coming one. out I'm really Science. excited we got another new one Elevate. coming out very very soon oh yeah which is going to be super cool, man. Thursday, Thursday was insane. Thursday, we got up bright and early, not really, and we drove all the way out to Tampa for the morning blend. It was before bright. Yeah, yeah. It was, it <laughs> it was, was like earlier than bright. I don't know. Was it? It wasn't bright like, and early. I feel I like was up we had to be dark. there at what, 9.30? And then we, we left We left at 7.30? Uh, whatever Something we did, we left on time. And we, we got left. there super early. We got there like we quarter did. after nine. We did. We that was got awesome. There super, which was Pretty appropriate, yeah. Because oh, yeah. like other people were there that early. Oh yeah. Too, so we we, we met up with uh, with good. oh yeah we met up with Natalie and Zach from ABC Action News, which was super cool. We were invited to be a part of the Morning Blend, Tampa Bay's Morning Blend, and we were there with a Stone's Throw, which is an amazing fresh seafood, fresh cocktail restaurant, and Urban Kai, which they have all sorts of water awesomeness that they have available for sale and for rent. They brought an awesome paddleboard, which was super super cool. Uh, to see both of them, um, both the owners were there, and they also it, is, have kayaks. it was not a kayak that they brought with them. It was most certainly a paddleboard. ABC Action News. They brought a paddleboard. They oh, offered so kayaks. They had a paddleboard. Uh, we'll work on that. Don't worry. It's all good. Tampa Bay's morning, but it's all good. We're here for you. We're here. We'll work through Next it. Time. Next bam, time. Bam, 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 bam. So it was really cool to be in the studio and just to be in that environment, which was really awesome. Everybody was super, super sweet. Natalie and Zach were really, really nice. And it was what a beautiful set. They had two living room sets, a full kitchen set, which we will be crashing because we said so. That's what we do. Oh, yeah. I don't know know about you, but that was the first time I was ever in like a a news studio. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I've been in... uh, When when I told you... That was the first Oh, yeah. They're interesting. That was pretty cool. (laughs) And I will say this. They're all freezing cold like that. Oh man! Every single one we'll so ever go to will be man. very, very cold. We're like sixty-two degrees <laughs> yeah. in the new studio. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's and that's morning how they do it, man. Wind. So ne- next next time we step frosty. into next time we step into a morning show, it's gonna be just as cold. So they, they have it running between 65 and 68 degrees in the studio. They have a lot of lights, a lot of electric power. The technology was super cool. And I got to give a huge shout out to Rex, man. Rex was our sound tech. Rex was he awesome. was awesome. <laughs> he was absolutely awesome. So a huge shout out uh, to Tampa Bay Morning Blend for having us, uh, to Natalie and Zach for being such great hosts, yep. Urban Kai, uh, and yep. Stone's Throw for being the other guests that joined us, and most certainly to my man Rex was, for doing all the things and making it happen, baby. I didn't get it was to super taste cool. The cocktails. Yeah, oh, no, well, we yeah, didn't right? Get to taste any. We were, we were saying, doing anything. Natalie crushed those cocktails, cocktails, bro. I don't think those cocktails were going anywhere out of Natalie's reach. <laughs> She's like, nope, come on with me. I didn't want to be that guy like, what were we, 10, 10, 30? Yeah, 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 in the yeah. Morning. Like, oh, hey, man. what are you doing? <laughs> Better get a drink, man. <laughs> I want to we try had such that. a good time, but yes, you're absolutely right, Dennis. There's so much going on, lots of lights, lots of cameras, lots of people that got to keep that studio cool to keep everything functioning and moving and grooving, baby. You definitely don't want to be hot in a television studio because once once you're already there with the AC or with a lack of AC, add all the other electronics in there, it is going to be blistering. So uh, it was really cool. What a beautiful that. place. And I will say, Natalie came up to us. Before we had gone on, Natalie came up to us and she said, I love you guys already. Your energy is awesome. You guys have been so positive. You've just been up and you've been engaging and smiling and watching. And that's just who we are. Like, we didn't do it for any specific reason other than we were genuinely interested in what was going on. Yeah, yeah. And I've been in a lot of news studios, but every time I go, it's just such a cool experience, man. It was a lot of fun. We had such a good time. I'm super, super stoked. Not only to go back uh, to Morning Blend, which we've already been invited back on the show, which is super cool, uh, but we've been working with some other affiliates of ours and seeing if we can break into other news morning shows. <laughs> which was super cool, man. Th- More studios are <laughs> cool. Yeah, man. Thursday was, was awesome. It was really cool uh, to be there with a great experience. Even though I have been in, done morning shows before, it's never been a project that I was intimately a part of. Uh, the other time, I was a contracted musician which was still cool to be there, but this was a lot different, which was such a good experience. 
experience. It was really, really cool. And a huge shout out had, to everybody for making it happen. You got to talk a lot more this time, didn't you? Oh, I never got to talk the other times. I just shut up and you played just, the guitar. You were just the business. <laughs> yeah. That was it, man. I just played guitar. I just let them do all the talking. And I was just like, yeah, what's up? It's way really early. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to the bus. <laughs> but we had a really, really good time on Thursday. And again, thank you guys so much. Jen Holland worked really, really hard to make that happen. Uh, Shelly got up early with us. Great Commodore, myself and Shelly made it happen. Drove all the way there. Got it squared away. Uh, a huge shout out again uh, to Morning Blend for having us, man. We're excited. Excited to return. Excited. What was your favorite part about that? Rex. Rex was awesome. <laughs> Rex, like... Rex was awesome. He, he not only, like, <laughs> delivered a plethora of information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of, yeah. Some of very which candidly. We, didn't, we didn't even need, but he did it very candidly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and very in, honest. And in a language <laughs> I can understand... <laughs> Rex, thank you. And it, and it like, it just made me feel at home. Like, I was like, all right, what up, cool. Kim? Good to we're see good. you. We're good. We're good. I just got to do what Rex just said, and we're good. Oh, man. It was, it was, was super, it. super cool, man. We fun. really had a good idea. Uh, we really had a great time. And before we even got back uh, to Orlando, um, Shelly Wheeler already had a video up, created, and posted on our social media. So you talk about a girl that's on top of it, man. She most yep. certainly pulls all the triggers, pushes all the buttons, yep. and made it happen. So a huge high shout five, out Shelly. to the team for making it happen. Thank it's you guys so much. Plant. Everybody, uh, not a face plant. That's a high five. Wham. Not face plant. Like, I got it. All right. So, and move it on then. Uh, this past weekend was nuts as well. So Monday we had the wrap up. Tuesday we had the test at Casador. Wednesday we had the Casador show. Thursday we had morning blend. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday we spent at Tampa Bay Convention Center which was super, super awesome. A huge shout out to Joe and Bobby for watching Luke and Leia. Thank you so much uh, for you. allowing us to crash there on Friday night. And watching the puppies was I such think, a huge, uh, huge relief. I think Luke and uh, my dad, they're like... They're buddies like, now. They're like best buddies Oh, they're now. buddies now. They're I buddies. So. Which was super so, cool, which man. Is so. Very like, true. Very like, true. You know... You really helped. You really helped us out. Oh yeah, Just uh, Tampa Bay Comic Con was awesome. We got to share a full vendor booth with Jay Bauer Art, my man Josh Bauer, and Trey Max from Max Spray Creations, which was super cool. You couldn't go anywhere in that convention and find a booth that had anything like what we were doing. Yes, there's going to be other artists that are painting. Yes, there's going to be other artists that are cosplayers. There were no other artists that were specifically and purposely musicians. There were zero vendor booths that had a combination of all three where you could come and check out armor and watch live painting happen while wearing headphones and listening to live music being played directly to you <laughs> in real time. It just does not happen. Yeah. There was no one, no one, no tables in Tampa Bay Comic Con were doing that. And Tampa Bay Comic Con had a great con this year, man. It was a lot of fun. People were awesome. It was good numbers. We yeah. had a great time. I had a good time. This this oh, yeah. convention was really I did, really I did great, too. man. I was right in my prediction. Oh yeah. This was this was the most fun that I've had. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so it was fun. really really cool. And this is so the first fun. time we've actually tried this setup. Uh, so I've had my own table before. Jay Bauer Art has had his own table before. Trey Max has never been on the uh, flip side of the table. He's been a cosplayer for a very long time. But here he was trying to promote his armor building for Max Great Creations. He had never done that before. The Great Commodore has only been on one side of the table. Had not really had a full vendor booth at a, f at a full convention for an entire three or four days before. So there was a lot of news going into it. Even Shelly Wheeler with her vast experience in the convention world had never worked specifically with a team at one vendor booth. Uh, which was really cool because Shelly's been going to Tampa Bay Comic Con with Imaginarium for a really, really long time. So although she wasn't there with the team, they all remembered exactly who she was the moment they saw her. There was people coming it was up to awesome. the booth and were like, hey, where's Shelly? <laughs> like, Hi, my name's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so we had such a good time, man. I got to give a huge shout out to Prime Now. Prime Now, thank you for being so awesome, man. We were down headphones. We had a full listening Tell station for people to come up and listen to headphones. And when we actually got there and we got everything set up, it was a lot of chaos. It was a lot of craziness. Uh, thankfully, we have such an awesome team. They brought little things here and there, and we got to put everything together. But on Friday, we had no way for anybody to actually listen to what we were doing. We had inputs for everybody, but most people have a lightning jack microphone or headphone combo. They don't have the little 3.5 millimeter round jack where they could just plug in. So we had to provide headphones but we didn't have any. And we were going to go after the commas over on Friday, but we also had our Friday night show. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really tight. We hadn't been to the Airbnb yet. We, we hadn't we checked in yet. That. We hadn't put we anything up yet. We just didn't have time. So as the Commodore and I are sitting having lunch, I'm thinking, I've used Amazon Prime, which is two-day delivery. I wonder if Prime now delivers to this area. We're at Tampa Bay Convention Center in the heart of Tampa. I bet Prime Now there's will deliver here. Like, there's a there's a, there's an Amazon. Oh yeah, like very near. So when there. online, we were trying to find headphones in the twenty to twenty five dollar range. So not only did we find 
hashtag Bud Light, where you at? Not only did we find headphones, we found everything we needed. We ordered it through Prime Now. Shelly and I walked downstairs to the main entrance of the convention center right, uh, right on Franklin Avenue, and Prime Now drove right up. Put the windows down. Are you Billy Floyd? Sure am. Here are your headphones. Here are everything else that you ordered. Have a good day. Bam. Walked right upstairs. Walked in. Tested all the you headphones. Next headphones. thing you know, we had a listening station set up. So a huge shout out to Prime Now for being badass, for being on top of it. Uh, and if you order over $25 with Prime Now, you get free delivery. I tossed a couple bucks in there because we needed it right now, which was super, super awesome. So yes, Prime Now, thank you so much. If you guys don't have Amazon Prime, check it out. Two-hour delivery. You get Prime Music, you get Prime Movies, and you get access to Prime Now, which is pretty much, you order it, they bring it directly to wherever you are right now, which was awesome. So a right huge now. shout out to, oh yeah, it's on the way, baby. Antonio is on the way in his Honda Civic. And yeah. You never know you need it until you need it. Oh, for sure, man. Okay. Friday night we were super we were super fortunate to be able to crash a kitchen at our Airbnb. We were hosted by the bombshells, which is super cool. Brianna Rivera and Danielle Miller were there to make sure that we, you know, stayed in trek and check and didn't do anything crazy. Super we also serious. had Jay Bauer art painting, which was awesome. We had Anthony and John Hernandez from Operation Shutter and Jay Hearn Photography there as well, which was really, really great. It was so awesome to see those guys. And then the food was actually provided, which was vegan. It was sweet potato chili. Uh, uh, which was provided by Brianna Rivera as well. Do we have leftovers Abs- of that? I hope so. That stuff was Damn. so freaking awesome. Damn. So a huge shout out to the whole team that put everything together. Shout out to everybody that made it happen. Thank you for the likes. The views were great. Thanks for sharing another convention with us on a Friday night. We know you guys got tons of things that you can do on Friday nights, but you were hanging out. You spent some time with us. We got to play some jams and have a good time. Had a sing. That was a fun show. That show was just fun, dude. Like, I don't think I don't think there was a moment where there wasn't at least one person laughing at something that was going on. Well, it's like I like I said to, to Bree earlier, like look look at the, the people that were there. There yeah. was a good crew. Oh, it was a good crew, there, man. man. And Jay, Jay Bauer and Art for his that's... painting that night, he did yeah. a bombshells logo, which was super awesome. He made it look like neon lights, which was really great, and they wound up raffling it off. Uh, to to uh, somebody that bought a raffle ticket and every dollar uh, went to one of the women in what is it called? Women in the Arts Incorporated. Women in the Arts Incorporated was the charity uh, that received all the profits, which was super cool. So they walked around, they sold tickets throughout the entire convention to come to uh, booth four four three to do the raffle to win the painting, and all the proceeds uh, went to this amazing charity that they've really been trying hard uh, to push and to support which is really awesome. Women in the Arts Charity. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, that's right. What up, Josiah? Good to see you, my dude. So Friday was awesome. We had such a great time. That was a lot of fun, man. That, what was your favorite part about Friday night? Aside from the food. I always like to ask these the questions. The people that were there? Yeah, oh yeah. The people were awesome. Which I already said. What was your favorite moment? Like, what was the moment at Friday night where you were like, that was badass? When we hit end... <laughs> when we ended the, the show. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me. When let I me, got to end this show, that was my favorite here. part. I'm a human being that requires sleep and food and water. And after after a while, man. Yeah, yeah it's tired. Right here. Just, just do it. Oh, Let's see what they can do. On, there you go. There you go. Oh, sweet. After, you know, so like when, when you hit. At, at yeah. the end of a long day, it's like of work, clocking out. You're like, imagine having you got two jobs. Like you work actually, <laughs> yeah, two jobs. One job, and then you go directly to the next job, and then as soon as you clock out on the last job, you go home. Jimmy, you've been saying that for two down, years, bro. Waiting on and you. Then you sit down on the couch. Jimmy, and come you turn to the anniversary TV, show. Turn on like, the TV. That's right. This Friday, Jimmy Liberati, come to the anniversary show. Two year anniversary. We've been crashing kitchens for two years. You're in Orlando. We haven't seen you here. We've invited you every time. Cool you haven't asked us to crash your kitchen. You've done nothing to make this relationship work, sir. All we've done is try to build bridges and maintain some could type you, of healthy connection here, to you, sir. Please? We have a show right here it's on Friday, Friday on the 9th. It's our two year anniversary. And Jimmy Liberati, you are Jimmy. our special guest. Jimmy's a special guest. Special guest. Special guest Jimmy. That's right. So in the, in the vegan sweet potato chili, just want to go through this. It was black beans, pinto beans, red beans, quinoa, avocado, corn, tomatoes, and sriracha. Mm. You got to you gotta top it with Don't the sriracha, bro. Don't forget the sriracha. You can't, you can't forget the sriracha. Sri-racha. Dave Charles, yes, my dude. Is it actually this Friday's going to be crazy. Sri-racha? It's sriracha. Shri- Sri-racha. I don't know if the first R is silent. Sri- S- Dave's R- coming. I- R- yeah. oh, Dropkick yeah. radio in the house. There is one condition that Dave had that we'll talk about after the show, and I want to make sure that we honor that condition and make sure that Dave Charles can be here. Dave Charles, you're good, my dude. No sweat. 
which is just kind of funny. We'll go over it later. It's not for everybody here to know. (laughs) know, Oh, yeah. So a huge shout out to everybody that made Friday night happen. Thank you guys so much, man. Uh, We are really looking forward to this Friday. Absolutely. Uh, And back to last Friday, a huge shout out to Tampa Bay Comic Con. First night was great. First day was great. We got a lot of things squared away. Moving on to Saturday, we had the full cosplay contest, which was awesome. I got to sit down with Vic and my man Rush, and we judged Tampa Bay Comp. The Tampa Bay cosplay competition is massive. The biggest ballroom they have in the convention center was absolutely packed. People filled every single chair against the wall, sitting on the floor. It was incredible. There had to be several thousand people were there, which was absolutely incredible. And the cosplays were phenomenal. Huge shout out to Tampa Bay for putting on such a great deal. Um, my man Roland and Amelia, they hosted the cosplay contest. One of the best one of the best Harley Quinn Joker mashups that I've really ever seen. They oh. were phenomenal on stage. Their interaction was phenomenal on stage. It was incredible. You can actually go to Amelia, Amelia Pool's Facebook page and see the live stream of the cosplay contest that happened at Tampa Bay Comic Con, and it is a big deal. I not thought only, not only are their costume their 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 cosplays are yeah, yeah. awesome. But they, their personalities, like they, no, get, they harness into, the they character. They get into oh, the yeah. character, and they are that character. And oh it's man, really fun to watch. It, it, it was awesome. They it's were really, really great, and the cosplayers were absolutely fabulous. Joker. There was, uh, there was one girl who created a 1500 style Snow White to detail, to specification, Dude. to date detail. It took her two years uh, to make that cosplay. Everything herself. was made by hand. It was incredible, even down to the little gold stitching leaves. She created all of those. Which was absolutely amazing. It was such a great competition. Uh, Tampa Bay Comic Con put on a great, a great, great cosplay contest. I thought it was going to be cool. Cosplay contest is at twelve thirty. I'm going to show up at twelve. No, pre judging started at eight forty five and went till eleven forty five. <laughs> then we had to be back in the ballroom at twelve thirty for the cosplay contest that ended at two. Didn't know you signed up for that. Had no idea I signed up for that. <laughs> but man, it was so awesome to see the incredible cosplays that were there because we had to do pre judging. There were so you many got people. To see all the best. Oh yeah. Shit. They they capped it off at ninety people. So we we re- we reviewed ninety different cosplays, which was incredible, and we only had oh man, we only had a certain amount of awards to get away. So I think we had probably eight awards to give away. So eighty two people, uh, eighty two people um, walked away with high fives and handshakes. That did really great, but it wasn't about being good. It wasn't about being great. It was about being the best. That is what it was about, and it was incredible. So a huge shout-out to Tampa Bay again for putting it on Amelia, for getting me involved, Vic and Rush for being great judges, and Roland, my man, the Joker, for making it happen. Incredible. I cannot wait uh, to hear about it next year. Was he the Joker this weekend? Oh, yeah. I missed him as the Joker. Yeah, he came by the table as Casey Jones. Yeah. Yesterday he came by the table as Casey Jones, which was awesome. Uh, and it, oh man, what a what a good time Saturday was! Absolutely packed. We had a lot of fun. Moving on to Sunday, which is really great. The last day of the of the con, uh, which is really awesome. We got to wrap everything with Jay Bauer. I got to meet my man Connor Daly, which was super super cool. Connor Daly had just graduated from kindergarten. He yes. came up with his dad and his brother uh, Aiden, and then his dad John. So John, Aiden, and Connor. They all come up to the table. John Daly? And yeah, John Daly, Aiden Daly, Connor Daly. John or Scott? I think John Daly's a professional golfer. He is. He is. He had a really good drive. So Connor came up, sat down, put on the headphones, and the Commodore and I played a part of a song for him. They were in a little bit of a rush, but they wanted to come back. And he asked us if we could, Connor Daly, who's probably six, asked yeah, us yeah. if we could learn a song called One Little Voice. And I had never heard of that song before. So I said to Connor, we'll look it up. We'll check it out. We'll see if we can learn it by the time you get back. And the dad said to Connor, I'm sorry, what, what, what did you want them to learn? He goes, one little voice, my graduation song. So the dad says, oh, oh, it's their graduation song from kindergarten. He actually sang with his whole class. I said, Connor, when you come by, I'm going to give you the microphone. Are you down to sing? And he was like, yes. yes. So sure enough, 15 minutes later, here they come. Connor shows up, Dad shows up, Aiden shows up. We play a little bit of a, a little bit of a song just to warm everything up, and the next thing we know, we give Connor the microphone. Connor sang word for word every single word from one little voice from his kindergarten graduation, which Super was cute. so cute. Super like cute. the Commodore and I just listened, we just sat there and what? listened. Like, I, oh man, <laughs> Shelly came up to try to get headphones. That wasn't happening. His big brother, Connor's so big brother, good. was like, my headphones. So so I got to listen to it, which is really cool. Connor had a hold of the microphone, this little six-year-old kid singing his heart out, 
Man, he yep. was getting into yep. it. He got to that last chorus, that double chorus, and he just like opened up, man, <laughs> which was so awesome. He was singing. Oh, it was so cute, dude. So singing. a huge shout out to Connor Daly for making it happen, for singing his little kindergarten song. It was so cool. Uh, that was probably my favorite part of the whole con. I had a lot of favorite parts, but just sitting there and listening to Connor sing, it was just inspirational. And I was like, this is so, so cool. My man Connor Daly killed it, dude. Keep it up, bro. I'm excited for your... What, does does grade school do they have graduations too? How many times you graduate? You graduate they, kindergarten. They, they may do graduations like every other yeah, year. Yeah, you graduate know. fifth grade. You graduate eighth grade. You graduate twelfth grade. You graduate from college. You graduate with your master's. You graduate with your doctorate. There's a lot of graduations going you graduate, on. Connor, graduate we're gonna be at your fifth year. year graduation. I can't wait to hear you sing your fifth grade graduation song. I know you got a couple years, but it's okay. We'll still be here, which is gonna be awesome. Oh man, it was so so cool. Oh yeah, Josh Bauer said the little redheaded girl was adorable as well, which is also yep. true, man. That was <laughs> that was so cool. We were really fortunate this past weekend. We were really blessed that a lot of people came by. They put the headphones on and they disconnected from the convention for just a tiny bit, and they gave us an opportunity to play them some music, kind of chill the environment out a little bit, really kind of easy going, just kind of like disconnect from the convention for just a moment because it is chaos. And, and yeah. any big convention like that when you're walking around, it's just absolute insanity. And everything just goes silent. Oh, and man. You, you put hear, those on, they're isolating all headphones. All you hear is just Billy singing. and the Commodore talking to you. Yeah, just having fun, and singing, telling jokes. Lightly joking about people that can't hear you. <laughs> that was fun, too. That was fun. <laughs> so we had a really good time. Tampa Bay Comic Con was awesome, man. We wrapped it up. Uh, another one of my favorite parts was the breakdown. Uh, Trey Max, Kayla, Shelly, myself, the great Commodore, we all pitched in. We broke down that entire set in record time. Got everything packed up. Huge ha huge handshakes and high fives to my man Trey Max. Glad he got home safe. It was great to have you this weekend. Josh and Bunny took off. And the great Commodore, Shelly, and I, we went to Harpoon Haley's, uh, which was awesome. It was right across the street uh, from where we... <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. That took me too long. That took me too long. I'm sorry. Which is Harpoon Harry's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the name of the place. It's, it's right next to the Tampa Convention Center. <laughs> Our server's name was Haley. She deserved to run the business, man. She, she was awesome. Haley. So we even talked about Haley Montgomery. contracting Haley's, somebody to go up Haley's and just Kiwi. changing Harry to Haley because she was super cool. Then we even came up with the idea of scratching Harry off all of the menus and just going around and writing Haley on everything, which I thought was a great idea, but yeah. and she was actually down for it, which was even, yeah. even better. But uh, it was really cool, man. We got to hang out at Harpoon Harry's, uh, which is a seafood restaurant. I will say, I actually ran into the AGM of that restaurant last night when we stopped at the convenience store. When you left earlier, there was a guy standing in front of me. He had a Harpoon Harry's shirt on. And I okay. was, and I was, I was like, I was like, are you, uh, are you familiar with Harpoon Harry's? Are you I was the one just that there. Just served me that awesome. Dinner? Yeah, I was, I was just there. And he goes, Oh, really? I said, Yeah. Have you been before? He's like, I'm the AGM. I was like, well, then you've definitely been. He goes, how was it? I went, 7 out of 10. And he was like, really? The guy behind me goes, tell him a bad score. He'll give you free food. And I will say this. If you're going to steam anything, do it with seasoning. Don't tell me afterward that you could have done it with seasoning and then offer me a side of Old Bay. You don't eat Old Bay. Easy. It goes on the outside of the Easy. shell, and when you steam it, it <laughs> penetrates the protein. Easy. Now listen, Harpoon Harry's, this is a very oh simple God. thing to grasp. And if you really want to push a guy over the edge, steam it with water and then offer him Old Bay on the side. And you will take a breadboard to the face. Okay, not that much. Okay. In my mind, that's what happened. Although, the banana pudding was pretty good. Still 7 out of 10. He's the got a ton of patience. Lots. And he's just like, you know what? Lots. I'm going to eat every bit of this. That is true. And I'm going to sprinkle Old Bay on it also. That's right. Now, his meal was 10 out of 10, I imagine. You killed yep. it. I, you killed it. Did you see the bowl when I was done? Nope. I didn't even see the bowl. <laughs> it was it was one of those where like the server comes by to like take the dishes and normally where they were like, Are you done with that? She she did not ask. Not a not a word. There was nothing left, man. You're done with Thank that. Thank you, Dennis Cutter. Thank you. He says, Ooh, don't mess up the old bay. Right? That's what I'm talking. They literally brought me a side of if Old Bay. Gonna oh, do you want Old Bay? I'm like, uh, you probably want to put the seasoning on uh, the seafood before you steam it. You don't steam it in butter water and then give them a bowl of seasoning afterward. That's how you catch an elbow to the face. That's exactly how that happens. Off the top rope. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. It's over. I'm, I'm moving on. 
<laughs> we had a really good time. It said on the menu how they steamed it, and it didn't say anything about Old Bay. So, like, I mean, I understand. I didn't know it was like, an option. The I fact that she like, gave me the option that's, afterward. That's, like, the norm, and that's how you eat it. But, like, they, they do it different. Thank you, David Vincent Bob. They no, they do different. it incorrectly. That's what they do. It. There's a right way and a wrong way. Harpoon Harry's, that's the wrong way. And I'm done. That's it. That's <laughs> okay, all, that's it. I'm done. That's fine. That's, it. I'm, uh, that's all I'm defending. Harpoon Harry's. That's it. It's all right. That's it. So, uh, moving on. It is Monday. This is the wrap-up. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. We have a really awesome week ahead of us. Uh, this Wednesday, we're actually going to a food truck rally for our man Mark Egan, I believe. And which is going to be super cool. We're going to do the You Pick Two show on location. Um, and I, I'm not necessarily sure. Is it the one in Avon Park? Which one? There's so Avalon many. Park. Avalon, Avalon Park. Park. I knew there was an A and I knew it was a park. So we're going to Avalon Park yep. to do our You Pick Two poll results show on Wednesday. We were seeing if we can work it out a Friday with Mark, which we think we're going to be able to do. But we were invited to come by this Wednesday, so we're going to pull the trigger. We're going to make it happen. Kevin, we'll do our best to meet up with you and see if we can figure out another alternate time to go ahead and do that recording. We do want to do the interview. We most certainly are still very interested in making that happen for you, my man. So don't even sweat it. Ranosaurus, no, no. There's a lot of Ranosaurus, a lot of no-nos. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave it up to you, Jen, because it's crazy. So this week is super cool, and we are on the cusp of our second anniversary show this Friday, which is going to be super cool. We've been crashing kitchen since August 12th of 2017, which is super cool. So we are going to be here August 9th. This Friday, right in this kitchen, celebrating two years of kitchen crashing. And the only reason we're able to do it is because of you guys. You guys allow us to come and crash the kitchens. You promote it. You push it. You like it. You share it. You help us out. You help with the emails. You help with the shows. You help with so many you different things. You help us load in. You help us load out. You help us book. You help us move forward. You help us everybody. All the way from Terry from Ireland to Jen to Shelly to Kevin to Mia to Dennis. There's so many people. Right. Brand new people that are just coming on. People that have been here like, since, with us since wow. the very beginning. It's been what super, super awesome, it? man. Absolutely. Dang. We've been able to partner up with a lot of really great people. This, said, this past Friday, we were Josh Bauer. We were Trey Max. We were with the Bombshells. Super cool, man. The community we were a part of. Absolutely a mm -hmm. blessing to be there. David, Vince, and Bob, huge shout out to you and right before your eyes, man. Thank you so much for featuring Walkman in your movie, bro. And congratulations to all your continued success. Love the new poster. Oh, that new poster is badass, dude. Hell yeah, man. Absolutely incredible. So we're going to wrap it up real quick. we got a song for you guys. I want to give a shout-out to our sponsors, Sarfer Brand out of California. It's amazing surfwear by my man Dale Dibbles. Lakeland Barbecue Company, Joel Van, the man out of Polk County, creating all things delicious and barbecue. Brian Lasagna, the flawless lasagna. Flawless. From Bryland Imagery. You can check him out on Instagram and YouTube. You can also check out Castle Door Studios on Facebook. That's Zach and Alyssa Rose right here for all your recording necessities in Orlando. Merchroom.com, Jimmy and Cody making it happen for all your merch satisfactory needs. And then mm. last but not least, my man with the plan, Jay Bauer, Josh Bauer from Jay Bauer Art. Oh. You can find him on Facebook and Instagram. You can even find him at jbauerart.com. And every Thursday, he has the Artist Weekly Review. Something. That's right. Is that right? Hey, there's Haley Montgomery. I think that's it. Haley. Is Hi, that Haley. Is that Haley Montgomery that's from, Haley from Harpoon, That's Haley. Uh, Harpoon that's Haley. Harpoon Haley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Haley, great to see you. You guys are so awesome. That's excellent. Haley, don't go back and watch this video again. I mean, you're great. <laughs> you were awesome. We spoke very, very highly of you. But I ran into your AGM at a convenience store last night, and I gave him the what for. I'm just going to share it with you. I gave you a 7 out of 10. Not you. You, 10 out of 10. You are 10 11. 10 out of 10. He didn't However, ask about the service. The food he asked itself, about the restaurant. 7 out of 10. The food was... Now, his was 10 out of 10. I love you. I think Shelly's was 10 out of 10 as well. 11. Oh, Shelly's was 11. I was 7 out of 10. Haley, not your fault. No worries. We'll get there as our friendship continues to grow. However... Harpoon Haley's it is. Absolutely awesome. We had such a great time. That is so funny. <laughs> so good to see you, Haley. That is super, super funny. So yeah, man, we are really excited for this Friday. It's going to be Artist Weekly Update. Update. Not review. Update. Thank you, Kyle. So yeah, man, thank you very much. Gosh. We're going to wrap it up, baby. we got a lot to get to, and I have to eat sometime today. So this is going to be the one that's going to do it for tonight. This is called Through the Fear. Hope you guys like it. ways 
things I couldn't say. I love life a little more this way if you, if you'd only stand beside me. And if I memorize my dreams, where you were there, believe you're everything I need, cause I tell you so. No matter what the price, for you I'd gladly die to gaze upon you from bending me. Cause I'm here, breaking through the fear that silent sound, soaking in the love that you have given me, given me, and love. been torn apart in ways I couldn't say but back the peace that fell from space and I only want to stand beside you and if you memorize your dreams where I was there believe I'm everything you need and you tell me so no matter what the price for you I'd end my life if you'd only stand beside me cause I'm What's up, guys? That was awesome, man. Nice. What's up? And thank you guys for joining us on this Monday night. My name is Billy Floyd. That is the Commodore. That's right, baby. We're the Kitchen Killers from Orlando, Florida, we coming to you live on this Monday night, giving you the wrap up for the last seven days. And gotta say, man, I think this is the first time we have gone eight days straight. Last Monday with the wrap up, Tuesday with Castle Door, Wednesday with Castle Door, Thursday with Morning Blend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, Monday here for the wrap up. Tomorrow we got a second to chill, and then what Wednesday are we, doing we are back at it again. No, no, quick, let's plan something tomorrow. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. What? Ice cream sandwich at Mia Dawn Blood's house? Thank you, Mia Dawn Blood. We're looking forward to all of our airfare completely covered by you and all of our transportation and hotel we'll accommodations. Right we'll Gotta take care the of the airport. ice cream sandwiches. Bye. You guys take care uh. of everything else, and we will see you in Maine on Wednesday, baby. Haley, thank you so much for joining us. And seriously, we did file a formal petition to have it changed to Harpoon Haley's.
Also, we listened to the stuff that you sent us. That is true. That was really dope. That was really dope. No. Super dope. S U P E R D O P E. I'm gonna listen to it again. Exclamation point. And well, then we're gonna do something together. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. We'll talk to you guys soon. You guys stay out of trouble and give it a great Commodore for uh, Facebook poke. I have you a guys, magic finger. Pizza only on Mondays. Have a wonderful Monday. See ya.